You should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. Luke. Oh. Fuck. How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get her warm. She's gonna freeze to death. Fuck you, Arvo. Luke's fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. I tried to help him. I just. Well, said I started to go. There wasn't nothing any of us could do. I tried to help him. He just. Oh, God. You son of a bitch. This is your fucking fault. Kenny, don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault. The hell it ain't. I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit, too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. Fucking commie piece of shit! Kenny! Fuck you! You mother! Okay. Fuck, Fuck Arva, but nobody deserves that. Another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help? How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh... You got a light? The fuck do you want, Arvo? I fucking helped you. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay?
I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Always does. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Just be careful. Kenny's not a dick. All, when Arvo ran... I don't... It fucking pisses me off, man. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. See, he's not a dick. He just cares a lot for the baby. He's overprotective of it. He always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son bitch. But he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. Jane just has her own agenda. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me and mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. Oh, there's a Mexico sticker right there. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago, just before I met Cap. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. <clears throat> we gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl.
This thing is half built. Looks broken. Busted. Looks like it's about to collapse. Want one? No, thanks. Do you remember when you saw me first, back at the lodge? I felt real bad you believed me. She can't hurt anyone. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? You can be honest. I try not to have any regrets. Yeah? I wish I could manage that. The fucking ice cream truck is playing. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I think people respect me. Really? I think so. Well, good for you, honey. You know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. And listen to a lot of promises. <coughs> One of them. <coughs> oh. I think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. Did she just throw away a perfectly lit cigarette? Can't believe that. Nobody... You don't waste resources, even if they kill you. Hi, Jane. Hey. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! Oh, damn it. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. But then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. I think it needs to be coddled, Jane. Told you. Seems like you've done that before. It's not rocket science. I feel like I'd drop it. Okay, I'm in charge of the baby holding.
There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. Son of a bitch. He did? Whoa, did you see that Clem glitch? Works? what I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got loot killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, are you okay? Better talk some sense into him. For his sake. <sighs> God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking. Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look. We got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? 
A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What'd you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And to keep my hair short. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. <sighs> I just hope I can count on you. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. <sighs> I'm sorry. God damn it. I don't I really don't like how this episode is turning out. So much bullshit and just Somebody fapping? Oh, I'll fucking pop you, Arvo. Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clem. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, all right? Everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Not, damn it, just. We don't have time for this. Just. Just be quiet, Clem, please. Oh, you fucking shoot me, I will fuck you up. He didn't give us any choice. I'm sorry, Clem. Just give me the gun, Clem. I'm not gonna hurt you. Easy. Fine. No need to cause extra drama. Just... What the fuck? <laughs> 